as I already explained you what is the Cuban Missile Crisis. Okay? We continuously were talking about the condition of a Cold War. Now what exactly is a Cold War? As I told you earlier that Cold War is when there is no actual fighting. Okay? If we define it then Cold War is a matter of power rivalries of military alliances and of the balance of power. Moreover, it is also accompanied by a real ideological conflict between the two powers. As we will be talking later, that what there were two major military alliances. One military alliance was the Western Alliance, which was headed by the United States, and the it followed the ideology of liberal democracy and capitalism. On the other hand, the Eastern Alliances were headed by the Soviet Union and they were based on the ideology of socialism and communism. As you all know that the first world war which was between 1914 and 1918, it had devastated the world and caused a lot of destruction. This destruction was further intensified in the, after the second world war that is which ended in 1945 by the dropping of bomb or by the United States or the two cities of Japan. Many of the critics, they say that Japan was already ready to surrender, so there was no need of throwing the bomb. But on the other hand, the supporters said that they threw the bomb on these cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki so that the war should end before and should end fast. Moreover, after the Second World War, what happened that most of the countries of the world were so devastated that it left to the, uh, it left to the formation of two major blocs, that is the Soviet Union and the American bloc. So these two powers emerged as the superpowers, but both of them knew that if they will involve in any kind of further real war or the involvement of nuclear weapons, then both of them will face the consequences which will be beyond their Control. So as a result, the Cold War condition emerged. Why? Because there was rivalry between the two blocks. So there was no real war, but still there was a state of tension between both of them, where both of them knew that they will not involve in any kind of real war, but the ideological differences between these two powers will remain the way they are. And this all uh, ideological differences led to the formation of two superpowers. That is one, one the American super bloc and the other is the Soviet super bloc. So with this we come to the end of the topic of the emergence of two blocks that is the American bloc and the Soviet bloc.